you know, Ben came in after that. You know, Tiger walks like four or five, and you know we're we're still in the game. Um, then Ben came out and walked a few, but then he got a few outs. I mean, it was a little bit of a roller coaster for us. You know, thank goodness that Coyle's calmed it down a little bit and gave our offense a chance to maybe score a run or two, and and we did. And honestly, we were we were just one big swing away from getting within one or two, or maybe even catching them and passing them. And uh, was happy with the way the guys competed. Uh, disappointed that uh, four of the last six outs were called strikes and we didn't swing the bat. Uh, but other than that, I mean, uh, with the start that we started with and the way our guys competed, I was happy with that. Now, uh, you know, now it just comes down to the rubber game tomorrow, see if we can get off to a better start or pitch a little bit better. We'll get into the game and uh, hopefully Molina will give us that, give us, that, give us some innings. Dave, you mentioned Tiger Therius. What do you think is going on with him the last couple of starts? I don't know. I have no idea. You, you probably need to talk to him about it. It seems like the last few weeks, y'all, for the first half of the season or first chunk of the season, weren't walking hardly anybody. But now, the last few weeks, it's been a little bit more. Just, oh, yeah. Do you, what, are you, what are you seeing from your pitching staff as a whole with that regard? Well, I've seen him. You know, I've seen Tiger walk some last week and now this week. And, you know, Molina walked a few the last couple of weeks. And, uh, you know, if, if it goes that way tomorrow, he won't be in there very long. If you pit, we just want to throw it over the plate. If they hit it, they hit it. You know, I mean, we, we walked nine guys in the first three or four innings, and we still had a chance to win the game, which is amazing, honestly, thanks to a couple of guys coming out of the pen and doing a pretty good job. But, uh, yeah, yeah, who's, who's to say what's up there? Uh, you said last week Brady was struggling with his commanding his fastball and throwing it as a first strike. Did, was it the same thing today? Yeah. Like that fastball is what kind of got him in trouble? Yeah, I didn't see the fastball go over the plate much at all. What would you see from Kendall today? Uh, you know, a hit, a sacrifice fly, had a couple, you know, not great at bats in big situations, but getting him back in the lineup, what do you yeah, think of him? Yeah, I mean, you know, you take away the, the called third strike and looking in the eighth, you know, he had a pretty decent day. Um, you know, we need him to step up and, and get it rolling a little bit. We need all of our guys to get going and that that have, that have struggled. We have some guys that are swinging the bat pretty good right now. We need, we need we just need a few more and get that lineup rolling, um, you know, a little deeper, a little, little more of a threat up and down the lineup. And, you know, the last two days I've been pleased with, with the way we've competed. If, if you take away maybe three at-bats in the eighth, uh, you know, I've been, I've been in, encouraged by the offense. Parker Coyle, you know, were you going to – he pitched well, even if maybe he struggled a little bit. Was was he going to be out there for a while anyways trying to eat some outs? And, you know, what did he maybe do well tonight? Well, yeah, what he did was he threw a lot of strikes and he had a couple of quick outs that, uh, you know, he only threw like 32 pitches, something like that, 42, um, which was plenty for him. I think he had thrown 30 going out to that last inning or something, so – we thought that would be enough. Um, you know, just throwing that cutter to the change up a little bit and um, spotted up pretty well. You know, the double, the 0-2 double, that, that was supposed to be a buried slider. He left it down the middle, and next thing you know, it's off the fence. But other than that, I thought he, I thought he threw the ball great. Did Brady have another uh, great out in, out in uh, one, two, three inning, top of the ninth? Just what, what have you been seeing out of him as recently? Good. Threw the ball good. Got ahead of the headers, and, uh, you know, it, the first hitter, he got ahead of him and then it ended up full, but then he just threw a fastball by him, which is great to see. And then the next two, he got ahead of him. And, uh, you know, weak contact and a strikeout, I think. So, really good outing. And Peyton Holt made another spectacular play in, in yeah. center. Uh, what would you think of that? Yeah, it was an amazing catch. You know, it looked like off the bat it was going to be a double. And, uh you know, he, he got close enough. He took a shot, dove, made the play. I mean, it was a big-time catch. The, the last pitchers they had, were they pop-up style pitchers? Or were your guys maybe over over? No, nah, they're, they're, they're high ca they're carry fastball guys, especially the last guy, the lefty. That's what he's known for. Ball stays up, and you got to try to get on top of it a little bit, and he, he didn't. So, Aloy, another three-hit game, maybe staying with the plan again. Yeah, I mean, you know, I don't think he's overdoing it. You know, I'd say, you know, six hits in two games. I'd say four of those hits were two strikes. 
Jim's wife, and uh, maybe maybe more. But he's done a really good job, you know, laying off some borderline pitches and then getting something he can handle late late in the count most of the time. So it's a good job. Okay, okay.